guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video that I'm really, really excited about. Basically, I'm looking at holiday collections that I've purchased in the past, and I wanted to go back and show you some of the things I bought during the holidays, and whether I am happy I purchased them or whether I regret purchasing them. So if that's something you're going to find interesting, just keep watching. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe down below so you do see my videos when I upload on your subscriptions list. I usually upload every other day so you do get quite a bit of content from me and I encourage you to subscribe. I like to do giveaways as well for my subscribers just to say thank you for you know taking the time to watch my videos and things like that. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Okay guys, so basically when it comes to the holidays, I have a pretty good strategy. I usually try to buy things that are unique and good value. That's basically what I'm looking at the most. A lot of the times I will buy stuff and then I'm like, why the hell did I buy this and I'll return it? Because I know I'm not gonna get any use out of it. It can be so, so overwhelming with the holidays because there's so many little kits and things and even with previews for 2017 holiday it's like insane because there's so many crazy cool things coming out and they're so much more affordable usually in the holidays I can't believe Tarte already has their holiday collection out like that makes me think that come December they're gonna have another added collection I feel like Tarte's kind of famous for that they're gonna have like multiple winter collections I feel like since I'm talking about Tarte let's talk about them first really quick now I did see in their new launch for 2017 for holiday they did have um, newer versions of these palettes these are their basically dupe for the z palettes this is just like my catch-all palette that I have. This isn't actually full, but this is what the bigger size looks like, and this is a cheetah print. I feel like this is the first one they ever came out with, and these retail for $17, and I honestly think these are a really good deal. Z palettes aren't as sturdy as these. I do have some Z palettes in my collection, like two of them, and one I bought and one I got for free, but this feels really nice, and the holiday ones are so cute. I'll insert a picture up here so you guys can check those out, and then this is the smaller size this is ten dollars and this holds nine eyeshadow palettes as you can see I did have some shadows in here I have to reorganize my singles but I wanted to curate in this palette basically my go-to nine eyeshadows so that if I was in a rush to get out the door I could just quickly stick this in my makeup bag or if I was traveling I just wanted to have everything I need in a smaller palette and this guy's ten dollars and it has a camo print really nice and sturdy again I think these are really good quality and I just like how cute these look together and I don't even like cheetah print but I just like these they're very fall-esque and I think they're gorgeous so definitely check these out during the holidays now another thing that Tarte does and I was so obsessed with these and I wanted one so badly this last year that I finally got one it's their like holiday eyelash curlers they're all like jewel encrusted the handles and I saw that with this new launch again I'll pop a picture right here um, with the updated one for this holiday season and it's so flipping cute I love the jewel encrusted handle again but honestly this is not my favorite eyelash curler I really like the Sephora brand eyelash curlers I think they're made really well um, I don't I don't think they're as expensive as the Tarte ones, um, but I, I'm glad I have this because it's really pretty, but if you ask me if I use it every day, I really don't because I think the Sephora one fits my eye shape better, so this is kind of a dust collector, but it was so beautiful, and I want this year's one, but I'm not going to get it because nobody needs that many eyelash curlers in their life. Now, another thing Tarte always comes out with in the holidays are their blush palettes. I have three of them, 2014, 15, 16. So I'm sure they'll have something new coming out again this year. If it's out already, I'll let you know, but this is the original and I have barely, I haven't even made a dent in this. Forget the word, barely made a dent. Like these look good as new, but honestly, this one is my favorite as far as colors go because it's just like those muted, like this shade right here, the Muted Mauve, is like my favorite. I love the nudes. And these are such good deals because they're usually around like the $45 range. This one, I love the packaging, but the blushes were a little bit more bright. So not really some things I use all the time. I'm thinking of actually decluttering this one, but I love the packaging they went with this year. And then this was last year's holiday. They actually gave you even more blushes. So you get 
five on one side and then five on the other side you actually get 10 blushes so this one really i mean gave you so much variety and then they changed the packaging they gave us this like circle packaging which i think is really hip and cool i keep telling myself i should really like pan one of these palettes because i have so many of them but honestly i always end up reaching for other blush palettes when i do use a blush palette in my opinion if you have one already and you don't use it you probably don't need to buy any more of the tarte blush palettes from holiday the other thing that Tarte came out during the holiday season the past couple of times are these little blush like kits. So these are from two different collections. As you can see, this one has like a floral cover. This was more geometric. This I believe was last year's collection. These are usually exclusive to Ulta and I just love them because you get to try so many shades and you don't get a whole ton of the product, but it's nice because they're small, they're compact and everybody loves the Amazonian clay formula so i really liked picking these up but now i went through like one i used it up completely and these have just been collecting dust in my collection again so i feel really guilty for buying this stuff and then never using it so that's why i said if you have like one set of this or you have one of the blush palettes i would honestly not buy anymore even though they are a really good deal okay so another thing that comes out during the holidays that i end up regretting is buying like lip kits like this now this is from Lorac last year and I actually did pick it up to give as a gift and I never ended up using it as a gift and now it's just in my collection I'll probably end up using it this year for a gift for someone because honestly it's really great value you're getting six lip colors in here and it's $25 which I think is awesome plus this packaging is so cute and I've heard really good things about the Lorac lip glosses. Now, I personally don't wear a lot of lip gloss. I'm more of a liquid lipstick kind of gal. But everyone gets sucked into these lip sets because they're such a good deal. And honestly, just like this, you never end up using them because you may be like one of the colors of the six that are in this kit and then the rest just kind of sit there and that's how you end up with like 800 lipsticks. So that's kind of what I like about some of the other lip collections that come out. Like this is Jeffree Star's holiday collection and I think he had about six or seven shades and I just bought the ones I wanted because I knew some of the colors I wouldn't wear and I was like, don't waste your money buying the whole lip vault or like the whole collection like this. Just buy the shades you want because at least you'll get use out of them and it's the ones you wanted so you'll be happier. So that's my advice for holiday because otherwise you're just going to end up with like 800 shades that you're never going to use again. Now another thing that comes out during holiday, let's talk about a few more face palettes. Hourglass always comes out with an ambient lighting palette. The one for this year is already out. This is the one from 2015, I believe, because I didn't buy the one from 2016. It was the one in the marble packaging. But this one got so much hype back in 2015 that I was like, oh my god, I need it. I've never tried anything from Hourglass, so I'm going to get it. But unfortunately for people with my skin tone, these shades are really hard to use, especially the bronzer. Like... It's nowhere near a bronzer shade for my skin tone. The blush and actually both of these blushes are really quite light. So they're not really going to show up on my skin tone at all. And they just look ashy. Like, I just don't think they're very pretty. They look, I'm sure a lot of lighter skin people can use these. But on me, it just is a waste of powder. And then these shades, I do try to use to like set my under eye and stuff. But honestly... For $80 like I could have done so much better like I could have done so many better things with that money so I'm really disappointed in the fact that I bought this and I would just caution you if you are of darker skin tone as much as you want to try some hourglass products this is not the route to go just get the individual products that you want because you're just gonna end up wasting $80 another thing that happens during the holidays is of course NARS comes out with limited edition palettes now this is not a holiday palette this is from the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I totally Totally regret buying this. Or this is the Blame It On NARS palette that came out. Was it like two years ago during the anniversary sale? And I just feel like with NARS in particular, what I've noticed is with their palettes, quality is not the same as their single product. So if you were wanting to try out NARS, as much as this is a good deal, I would just buy what you want. Like if you want to buy orgasm blush, just go buy a full size orgasm blush or go buy the bronzer because in these palettes, it's so hit or miss, and these are usually like 60, 50 to $60, so 
I would totally avoid those like a plague because they're not they're not worth it at all. Uh, next, I want to talk about this guy. This was Mac Holiday 2016 as well. This is from the Nutcracker collection, and Mac really played us with this because they were like whisper of guilt, like limited edition. You're only gonna be able to buy it like this. And so it came out for the holidays, and of course I like broke my neck trying to pick it up, and honestly it is a beautiful highlighter. I'm glad I have it in my collection. They're coming out with it in a full size pan this winter or something like something's happening with Whisper of Guilt, I'm pretty sure. And then they came out with Mac or Darling, which is also a beautiful golden highlighter. So I really feel like you don't really need to run and get this, but I am glad I got this. I really like the packaging. I like that it's a two-in-one product. So you can just put this in your bag instead of having like one highlighter, one blush, and it's pretty compact. But yeah, I just am making this video to caution you guys because when all these holiday palettes come out, you're like, oh my god, I need all of it. When am I ever gonna find it? again it's limited edition da, 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 and you're like panicking like actually panicking but then like once the holidays goes away you're like crap like now I have all these products they're limited edition so if I'm on YouTube I can't really talk about them because most people can't get their hands on them and that gets frustrating for people too so just be very picky with what you buy during the holidays because I have a lot of regrets here and this is like hundreds of dollars just sitting around me so that's why I really wanted to make this video to like caution people the other thing I also also freaked out and bought a couple of holiday seasons are the MAC pigments these are so fun to play with I love using these with glitter glues uh, so if you've never tried them this is a really good way to do that and they usually end up being on sale because people don't buy them and then MAC will usually discount them so that's a really good time to get these pigments but I think they're a great deal when once they go on sale I really try to wait it out but yeah so these are some cute things that you can pick up from Mac and they also make really great gifts so another thing that always comes out during the holidays are a Lorac Mega Pro palette now you guys have seen these in like 800 of my videos where I talk shit about Lorac but honestly guys I like I try so hard to like Lorac because some of the stuff they do is really creative and innovative and I think it was Pretty cool when they did Lorac 1, Lorac 2, Lorac 3, then they decided to bring Lorac 1 back, bring Lorac 2 back, and then I'm like, okay, this shit is getting a little bit funny. Why are you bringing back limited edition palettes? That to me is like the biggest pet peeve that companies seem to be doing recently is if you're gonna say something's limited edition and bring back a palette from like 2014 that's a little fucked up because either the palettes are old or you're actually able to reproduce them and people like the exclusivity of a limited edition palette too like as much as I complain about it it's also a really nice thing because you you know got it at that point in time like if Moschino went and re-released the bear palette like in 2020 we're all gonna be like, what the fuck? Like, it was supposed to be limited edition. Like, I think that's important that brands kind of protect the exclusivity of that. It's kind of part of the sell is that you're not gonna be able to get it again. So if you're gonna call something limited edition and then two years later relaunch it, people are gonna start calling your bluff. So that's something I would caution you with. So don't worry because these just came back and I mean, really, like everyone wanted one of these. I personally would stay away from the next one. It's like a rose gold one I think that's coming out. I will insert a picture here, but these, like, I just never use this, and there's, like, so many repetitive colors in these palettes. It's it's literally disgusting, and I hate the Lorac eyeshadow formula so much. So, yeah, I just keep this because it used to be a really hard-to-get palette. Like, this was never coming back, but now that everyone has it, I guess I could probably sell it because there's no reason to hold on to it and talk about it. Okay, so the last palette I want to talk about, and it's basically what inspired this video, is the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. Now, this was holiday 2016, and basically what happened with Kat Von D is she came out with the Mivita Loca Palette in 2015, and I wanted to get it, but I was like, meh. I'll never use it like what's the point and I like stayed away from it and as soon as it sold out I was like shit and then I saw all the really positive reviews on the palette I was even more heartbroken that I didn't buy it so when 2016 rolled around and she announced the metal matte palette I was like oh hell yeah I'm gonna buy it and so I did buy it and I have it and it's this humongous palette that is so clunky and these shadows I just don't like the colors they're not neutral everyday colors even the lighter shades like they're so awkward like there's no like perfect transition there's no like warm tones in here this is very much a cool tone palette and as much as I love her artistry and 
how much work she puts into the design and like the fact that the pa palette is cruelty free and all these great things. I just never use this palette. I actually regret so much buying this, but then she announced Sink and Sinners palette and it's got this beautiful like packaging, cathedral window or something and it opens and the shades are supposed to be inspired by stained glass windows and this and that and I'm like, ooh, do I want it or do I not want it? So I'm still kind of debating in my head if I want to pick it up or not, but based off of like this Kat Von D palette, I'm like, I don't need it. It's such a waste of money because it's not really like cohesive, the palette. It looks really random if you look at the shades. I know she said they're inspired by the colors of stained glass windows and I really think she nailed it on that. But as far as like everyday use, I feel like I would get overwhelmed looking at that palette. And a lot of the colorful shades, I really do have a lot of colorful eyeshadow and I don't really wear any of them and then the more neutral like dark side of the palette is also like really funky colors like funky pinks funky greens it's not like warm blendable easy to use eyeshadows I feel like you would need to definitely pull another palette in with that Saints and Sinners palette I don't know what the price is on that palette yet but I'm sure it's going to be in like the 60 to 65 dollar range if we're going off of the price of this palette and I'm basically telling myself I don't need it because I feel like it's just going to be one of those dust collectors in my collection. Okay guys that is everything I wanted to talk to you guys about today. I hope you enjoyed looking at some of this throwback makeup. Sometimes I feel like I have just like an archive. It's so funny. Um, I do like to try and sell some of the makeup I don't use. So if you're interested in purchasing anything from me, let me know. I'll, I usually just post it on like Instagram stories or my personal Facebook. So you probably won't find, <laughs> find it on YouTube, like a blog sale or something like that. But I do try to, you know, cycle through because I'm never going to use all of this makeup. But I just wanted to help you guys out because I feel like we live in a world right now, especially in the beauty community, where it feels like we have to buy everything. And I feel like with the holidays, that like intensifies. And so I'm trying to help you out by showing you some of the maybe not so great decisions that I made with my money to kind of help you decide if you want to spend your money that way. The new Tarte line launched. I literally added the eyeshadow palette to my cart and then I saw the brush set that they're coming out with for holiday and then these like palettes that they're coming out with that are holiday themed and they all look so gorgeous and I was like you know what Karen you don't need any of that you just made a video saying you're breaking up with Tarte Cosmetics and now you want to buy more things from them so I held back going strong now for four days without buying anything from Tarte um, and I'm really proud of myself so just keep in mind you definitely don't need everything in the holidays and some of it may end up just gathering dust in your collection so proceed with caution if there are any palettes for the holidays that you guys want to hear my thoughts on, definitely leave me a comment down below. I would love to help you guys decide if you should pick something up or not. Most of these formulas I have worked with, like the brands that are coming out with holiday collections. So like Tarte, I know if something's going to be good or not. Just by kind of looking at them almost, I can usually tell, especially with their eyeshadows and stuff, if it's like too glittery, I would probably stay away or if it's their typical like holiday in New York or holiday in the Bahamas packaging. Actually, that's Too Faced. Anyway, what I'm saying is I'm a pretty much a product expert because I spend a lot of time playing with makeup. So if there's something you're on the fence about, you can definitely leave it in a comment and I would be happy to help you. I know I have friends that always send me texts and they're like, is this good? And I'm like, oh hell no, don't buy that. Or yes, definitely get two. Um, so if you guys need any kind of help like that, just leave me a comment. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Bye. Bye.